What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, at LeanX.com. It's Halloween and we're talking zombies. Well, kind of. You see, if the zombie apocalypse came, would you be able to survive it or would you wind up looking like him? I'm gonna show you today the eight best exercises that you need to know, you need to be able to do, if you're gonna avoid this fate and instead survive it by training like an athlete. Let's go over them top to bottom. Okay, so first off, if you wanna avoid being zombie bait, you're gonna have to learn how to run. There's no way around that. But I don't want you just to be able to run for long distances. I want you to be able to run with some athleticism to it as well. So we do S runs. And an S run is exactly what it sounds like. You have to be able to run fast, but at the same time, move your body in space. Be a little bit more athletic. Make an S back and forth as you run. You do these 10 times as fast as you can, and you're off and running on this zombie apocalypse workout. Next up, we can't just be able to run, but we have to be able to outquick the zombies, right? Our feet have to be fast. We have to have agility. And we can actually do this in a small area of space with our agility line drill. We're gonna go up and back along the same line, changing the maneuver that we do each time down the path or each time down the line. You can see we'll start off with shuffles down and shuffles back in the opposite direction. Then we'll sprint down and we can back pedal back the same line. And of course, we can drop our hips get low, nice and athletic, and swivel those suckers so we can do a karaoke right and a karaoke left back down. Change up the combination you're doing. Aim for 20 line drills up and down. And again, you're working on some good quick foot agility work to be able to outrun these guys and outquick them. Next up, we're all a team here on Team Athlean, right? So if you're with your buddy and he falls down, don't be a selfish bastard. Pick him up and help him. We need to have the ability to do a shoulder carry if we're gonna be able to help. So what we do is you take a heavy dumbbell, we're gonna clean it up to our shoulder and we're gonna carry it. You carry it as far as you can. You carry it 30 steps if you have the ability to do so. Even if you can't get a large access of space, then just walk in place. Then when you get there, drop it down, clean it back up to the opposite shoulder and do it again for 30 steps. Try to do this three or four rounds without having to put the dumbbell down and you'll be prepared to protect your friends against being eaten alive by those zombies. So you gotta be able to run and you gotta be able to be a good friend, but you also better be able to jump. And you're not just talking about being able to jump on something, but sometimes you have to be able to jump over something. So do this incredible box jump and over combination. Start by jumping up onto the box, land on the opposite side, turn right around, and then jump over the box. If you're doing this on a bench, obviously it's a lot easier than having to clear a whole box. But whatever it is, find a surface that you can jump on and then jump over, and you've got yourself a good drill for being able to teach your body the ability to be explosive when you need it the most. Next up, part of being able to stay alive is being able to not be heard in the first place. Try to keep yourself under the radar, and I mean literally under the radar, by doing the creeping lunge I'm showing you here. This variation of a lunge is gonna put your legs under more time under tension, requiring you to stay low. Try not to elevate your head very much as you perform each alternate step. You see the idea here is to stay low, stay quiet, don't be heard. If you accomplish that, you're well on your way to avoiding this fate here in the zombie apocalypse. Okay, let's face it, there's a lot of these suckers running around. You may not be able to outrun all of them. So you better have some weapons in your arsenal to be able to deal with them if they're this close from you. The first, you better be able to climb. And I'm talking about climb up and over something out of sight. We need to be able to do pull-ups, and not just regular pull-ups, but pull-ups with any single grip, because you don't know what grip is gonna be awaiting you at the top of that ledge. So I want you to do mixed grip pull-up medley here. So start with both hands overhand and do a regular pull-up. Switch one hand underhand. Now you've got a mixed grip on one side. Do another pull up. Now switch the other hand underhand. Now you're looking at an underhand, now a chin up. Now switch that hand over. Now you're looking at the opposite mixed grip. Continue to rotate through these as many times as you can until you reach failure so you can build up the strength to be able to climb and scale away from whatever's awaiting you down below. Oh shit. Okay, so now they grabbed your leg because you couldn't climb fast enough and they pulled you down. And now you're down on the ground face to face. What do you do? You better start swinging, my friend. You better be able to do so with some power. So we have our wood chopper swings, and this is a great core exercise, rotational core exercise, for developing the strength from your toes all the way to your fingertips and being able to be worth a damn when it counts. So start here, rotate to one side explosively. If you anchor this band or this cable higher up, you're gonna be aiming to not just come across your body, but to come across and down, thus the wood chopper. If you don't have access to that and you can only swing across, hell, do what you can. Just start working on your ability to develop powerful rotational strength. Okay, so uh, the climbing away from didn't work. You weren't able to swing fast enough. They injured you. Now you're down on the ground, you got one last shot, my friend. You better be able to drag your body away from them 
or it's curtains. So what we've got here is our dead man push-ups. With the dead man push-ups, you're gonna crawl your body away. Every time you crawl, those feet will stay close together and not active. They're not part of this drill. You can't push through them anymore. You're gonna crawl forward one step at a time and do a push-up. Crawl another step, do a push-up. Drag your legs all the way behind you and try to keep going as far as you can until you reach failure. If you fail, I, I don't have good news for you. But the fact of the matter is this, you gave your best try and that's what we're all about here, guys. And if you notice the, the, the similarities here, what I've got you doing here, all kidding aside, Halloween aside, you're training like an athlete. You're using functional skills and getting stronger at them. You gotta be able to run. You gotta be able to jump. You gotta have strength. You gotta be able to maneuver out of any position. You gotta be able to move in three dimensions. This is what training like an athlete's all about. Preparing you for anything. Maybe the zombie apocalypse, who the hell knows, but preparing you for the game of life at the very least. If you're looking for a program that does that, head to athletics.com right now. Start training like an athlete. Start seeing the differences and start seeing what it looks like when you start training like an athlete. All right, guys, we'll be back here again in just a few days. In the meantime, if you like this video, leave your comments and thumbs up below and let me know what it is else that you'd like to see here on this channel. I'll do my best to cover it in the days and weeks ahead. All right, guys, don't let this happen to you. I Please come back next week. See you.